Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We are here in Lasham Cove looking for this little kid's sister who is probably like right up there. I think that's the uh, place where we'll find her, right up there. But before we do that, let's talk to Hassan over here. I wonder if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Hassan. That's an Arabic name, usually. I wouldn't think of it as a Scottish name, normally. So, you know, either Hassan is a more widespread name than I would have thought, or I'm mispronouncing it. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, this is wonderful. It looks perfect. Let me have a wee taste. <clears throat> What's this? A mouth-watering medley of meat and fish stewed in a slightly sweet sauce. This is some top-notch cooking. But I can tell you right now that this is not Shilsanian cuisine. And I'll tell you for and I'll tell you for why. It's just too delicious. My mother's home-cooked recipes never tasted as good as this. The smell of the fish was completely overpowering. The meat was tough as old boots. That's the kind of poor quality you can expect from Ardanian cooking. If only there was someone who could recreate that authentic local flavor. I doubt anyone but a true Ardanian can really prepare something that appeals to our particular tastes. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some real Chilsanian kasha. Okay. So, uh, I should have already cooked that. So, could you do it? Did you cook some Ardanian food? This is... This food looks so good it could satisfy any appetite. Well, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting, as they say, so excuse me while I tuck in. Huh? Um, rubbish! This taste! The spices are completely overpowering, so I can't tell what I'm eating. The lentils have been boiled dry and crunchy. Completely disgusting and inedible. The quintessential Ardanian cooking, you might say. Well, I say disgusting, but there's a certain charm to it that you can't capture anywhere else. Yeah, in my hometown, there wasn't anyone who could do Ardanian cooking as bad as this except my mother. Hey, why is that young blade lady looking at me with daggers? Anyway, you've all been so kind to me. When you're in more Ardane, you're welcome to visit my house anytime. I'll treat you to some proper, authentic Ardanian food. Ha ha ha. <clears throat> Thanks for the offer, what but it sounds like we might want to pass. That meal was so delicious, I feel like I could repair an entire fleet now. If you're ever in more Ardane, you must let me treat you to some home cooking. Yeah, I think we would prefer not. Thanks for the offer and all. I'm just happy we made someone happy. Jin's cooking was too refined for Hassan's discerning palate, but Mithra managed to remind him of home with her distinctly original flavor. Is that another treasure? No, it's not. The bottom of the door there looked like it might have been another treasure chest, but nope. Okay, dead end. I know that there are more um, treasure troves around here. Ah, there's one right down there. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, at this point, these. Uh, Accessories and ox cores are just stuff to sell. Okay, up here. Oh, I thought there would be a grate that I had to knock down with a field skill check. You're coming with me, treasure. Critical ups and outdoor attack ups, but only 
Level one. Where are the blades? Place to come out. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Did you know that all driver weapons are furnished with elements? For example, weapons with the fire element are effective against monsters of the water element. Also, blades have a fixed element that represents their power. For example, take the crown jewels of Moradain. The Lady Bridget is fire and Aegean is water. Matching your weapon and blade elements to counter the monster's element is key to clinching victory. Eh, it's not all that important. Not really. I mean, it can be a way to either increase your damage or decrease enemies' damage. But I've never really seen that it plays a big role. If the worst were to happen, my duty is to return Bridget and Aegean's core crystals to Moradain. Of course, I hope that's never necessary. Yeah. Turns out it becomes necessary, though. Uh, I think I've found everything. Nothing out here, right. Okay. Alright, now we need to go find that uh, little boy's sister. And then we should be good to go. Oh, there's a treasure trove. I thought I might be missing something down here. The suspense is killing me. Okay. Alright, no one else to talk to, so yeah. Thing. You lot fight in specialized roles, like one's a defender, one's an attacker, and one heals. The best attacker needs to be out front attacking the enemy until one of them goes down. That's not to say attackers should be reckless. The more you attack an enemy, the more aggro you're going to draw. That's a problem for an attacker. You need to moderate the attack and have the defense absorb some of the aggro. That's the iron law of combat. Well, of course, there's no need to, to tell you that. You managed to best me in combat, after all. On the one hand, yes, we bested you, but on the other hand, the main reason for that is because we are literally 80 levels higher than you. There are certain items that have particularly special effects that are known as precious items. Though they can be special in different ways, some are just extra powerful, others have effects that last forever. What really ties them together is, they're not easy to come by, you won't find them in ordinary shops. Only people with special knowledge, such as Lord Adam or Emperor Hugo, have the ability to craft them. Yeah, we've already crafted all of them. So we're good to go on that regard. Lost my comrades in the midst of battle when I least expected. If that happens to you, get your down friend and get to your down friend and lend them a hand. Keep the, keep the esprit de corps high, and you shouldn't have any problems keeping your party members standing. But if your team's lost the will to fight, sorry to say that there's not much hope for you. And remember, a revived ally won't be back at full strength, so don't forget to lend him a hand. Just a couple of hints to keep you going. Take care of your friends, and they'll take care of you. McNeff. Similar to Macbeth, but with an N rather than a B. Hmm. I wonder, could I get down over there? Probably not. I imagine it's too far to jump. I'd like to explore over there. See if there is anything. Ah, Zenma. He's the guy we helped earlier. Ah, are you still trying to scrounge up machine parts? I think I mentioned before, but there are gold and silver parts lying around. Don't forget, you'll need a special secret device if you want to find gold parts. Right. 
No, I think we've, uh, been meandering around here enough. Let's get a move on. Collect some items on our way. This is becoming I'm something of an expert. Memento bark. Yes. If I need to craft anything for Minoff, aren't we intrepid? I need that. Aren't we intrepid? I know the trail. Sticky stick insects. I need those too for Minoff. Aren't we in I know the trail. Okay, so Aren't we in Listen to the sound of my voice. Excuse me. <clears throat> so the uh kid's sister ought to be up here. Another treasure You're trail. Coming with me, treasure. There she is. Before we go talk to her. This is becoming addictive. I know the drill. Okay. I believe there were some green barrels back here, but we we got them in the previous playthrough. You're coming with me, treasure. Okay. Well, let's get some tree Aren't stuff. We something of an expert. No memento bark. Hmm. Ah well. Okay, let's go talk to the kid. Innocent girl Kelly. Huh? Who are you? Kelly? Yeah, that's me. How do you know? Oh, my brother. Can you take me to him? Oh, please. You can take me to him? Oh, please. Okay. Looks like they're right above each other. Stacked on top of each other rather than next to each other like usual. Where's the boy gone? Well, we know where the boy is. The problem is finding the girl. Hmm, maybe I could jump down from up here. I gotta try it. Okay, that's the jump button. Oh. And I missed the blasted jump button. Huh. Okay. Right. Where shall we head to next? It's raining. Well, I'm gonna try that again. I guess we'll stick with these. Uh, looks like I might need to have Mino this is make some more of those time. after all. Maybe. Not sure how many I have left. Aren't we in trouble? I know the drill. Okay, off we go. Ah, <laughs> right. uh, no, it's too far. Huh. That's kind of disappointing. All right. Whoosh. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Responsible boy, Kelly. Or Collie. Kelly! Collie! Duh. <laughs> you 
Can't thank you enough. Careful you don't lose her again, kid. You should be looking out for your little sis, you know. Yeah, I'll make sure that never happens again. Mithra might... Mithra actually being level-headed. Never thought I'd see today. Hey, Kali, you left this behind. I've been holding on to it the whole time. Oh. I thought that was gone forever. Nice one, Kelly. Looks just like, it looks just like Laura's mother's keepsake. Hey. Mind if I take a look at that? No problem. Hmm. How did you come by this? I got it from Auntie Rhina. Rhinea. Rhinea. Auntie Rhinea, okay. What? My mother. Auntie Rhinea had another one, but Kali was always hankering after it. She said it was really precious to her and she couldn't let it go. So she made me one that looked a bit like it. She said she was sorry she couldn't make it any better. I mean, I don't care about that so much. She made it for me. So it's precious to me, no matter what it looks like. I see. Well, take care of yourselves, you two. We promise. Hey, the way you said that just now, it sounded just like Auntie Rhinea. Yeah, just like her. Huh, I don't doubt it. I'm sure that we could converse for hours, but I'd like to propose a course of action for our new friends here. For us, you mean? That's right. Our vessel here will soon return to Moro Dane. Perhaps you two ought to be aboard when it sets sail. A wise idea. Things are not so unsettled, Moradain. Moradain, huh? No, I made a promise to our da. He said he was waiting for us. We can leave Gormont. You're right. Thanks, but I guess we can't come with you. We need to stay behind and wait for da at the camp. Understood. We cannot force you to come. Well, you probably could, but you're not going to. That's the difference. Indeed. If you start moving around now, there's a chance you might miss him. Of course, we'll leave you with some provisions so you won't go hungry. Okay, yeah, okay. Thank you for everything. I bring news. Something tells me it's urgent. Correct, ma'am. If I may, this information is for His Highness's ears only. You may approach. I see. Everyone, may I ask you to reconvene in the boat strategy room later? Something unforeseen, is it? Indeed. I'll give you the details presently. One less problem in the world. Okay. So, let's get on board. Actually, what does Hassan have to say? Thanks for bringing me that rubbish food before. Hey, I really mean it. Thanks to you, I managed to cure my homesickness and cheer up. Now my maintenance work is going great. Oh yeah, talking of curing things, how are you managing to heal up during fights? You've got to pay special attention to that. you got to pay special attention that you don't lose one of your team during a battle. And it's much better if you keep an eye on those team members who are taking the most damage from enemies. If they go down, you might suddenly find that your party suddenly falls apart. You know, I gave some Ardanian food to a workmate. He was fine one moment, then on the floor the next. We had some trouble filling our work quota for that day, I can tell you. Ha ha ha. Well, don't give people Ardanian food, then. Seriously. Alright. Thank you all for joining me here. I'm afraid I have important news that I need to impart to Adam. Oh, yes? It's about the militia. The who now? I've been gathering an army in Uriah. People who've lost homes, families. People who'll make a stand against Malos. Well, according to intelligence we received, they have departed from Uriah now. What? Why? Malos's whereabouts are still unclear. It seems that Uriah has conscripted them all. It's now a special regiment of the Orion Self-Defense Forces. I thought I'd sorted this all out with the Orion King. At His Majesty's behest, we have ascertained the position of the moving troops. They are heading to Torna as we speak. We have established communications, so you can send word at any time. <sighs> Uh, 
When they get to Torna, tell them to go to a letter. Ugh. As you say. Laura? Hmm. I've never seen Adam like that before. He's gone off somewhere. Is it best to leave him alone, do you think? That's for you to decide. I'll go where you go. Right. No, he might need someone at a time like this. We have to go after him. Yeah, but he's still with us. Sort of. Mithra and Hayes. Adam, didn't you go out to get some air? You're worried about him, right? You should go talk to him. Master Adam is a kind soul. Even To even consider making a place for the families of soldiers who've lost their homes shows great compassion. But I couldn't help noticing he looked very pained. Let's see. Anyone? <laughs> so we've got two Mithras there. And... Uh, Two hazes. <laughs> that makes me wonder. What are their trust levels? Okay, haze is at S8. Jin is at S6. Okay, I want to keep Jin up front then. So that he can get the... Uh, uh, benefit of the affinity bond during battle. Uh, Mithra's at S9. Ooh, Minas is only S5. I should put him up front. Likewise for Aegean. Okay. Uh, blade switch. There we go. Right. We'll leave it like that for the time being. Anyone else? Oh, there's a Jean and Bridget. And Hugo. I sense that His Majesty is not quite himself of late. I cannot blame him considering the terrible events to which he is borne witness. Though he tries not to show it, I've come to understand the workings of his heart. No matter the age, you must always be prepared lest some cunning, some conniving rat stabs you in the back. I'm not referring to anyone in particular, you understand. But it's a story you hear all too often. I'd advise you to tread carefully. <laughs> Other Hugo is standing on the table. <laughs> And other Aegean is next to Aegean. At present, it's unclear exactly why the King of Oriah has acted the way he did regarding the resistance. Let's hope it's just a simple misunderstanding. Wow, cool ship. Master Adam, we left the resistance there because we trusted the King. Oh, Laura, how can this be happening? I think it's down here. Yep, this is the place. Anyway, back to Jin. Nice gloomy atmosphere for this little chat. That wasn't like you. Huh. You think so? Yes. I thought you always know what to do. You're never lost. I wish that really were the case. To tell the truth, I'm always worrying. Ever since I became Mithra's driver, anyway. 
It didn't seem that way at all. Power lends one an air of capability. Even more so when it comes to the Aegis. When we first met, we could have burnt you to pieces. Though fortunately, we avoided that thanks to Jin. Is that why you were away from the militia? As I am, I am not in full control of Mithra's power. Scores of soldiers could die by my hand. I was frightened. This cataclysm Malos caused, it's likely all because Questa Amalthus was unable to control him. And if that's true, then perhaps I too. I think she's well aware. Just not so comfortable saying it. That's your analysis. Well, I have been with Jin, the paragon of Torna, for 17 years. I can roughly tell how much of their strength the blade is using just by watching them. She's making sure you... No, she's holding herself back to make sure she doesn't go that way. Deep down, she's very kind. You think? That still means I'm just not man enough. Don't think that way. You'll get used to it little by little. I was the same. If only time would slow down and afford me the chance. Yeah. He never does learn that lesson. Not in time, at least. You know, 500 years later, when Rex meets up with his spirit, Adam admits that he never truly gained full control of Mithra's power, and he was too afraid to really accept that responsibility. You know, it's debatable, but at least from Adam's perspective, that's pretty much why he thinks that things end the way they do here in this game. Not so much because Mithra flies out of control, but because he fails as her driver. That's what he thinks. Well, moving on. We should be able to take a ship heading straight to a letter from here. That's great, but why's it got to be a passenger ship? Can't we travel with the Emperor? What's wrong with making a grand entrance? I'm awfully sorry. Though I may be traveling with Lord Adam, I'm afraid my actions aren't officially sanctioned. His Majesty's ship is a war vessel. It would take considerable negotiation before Torna granted us docking privileges figures. That attitude of yours is what gives us so much trouble. You just don't stop to think about the consequences, do you? Honestly, I give up. Behold the mighty Aegis, wielder of unthinkable power and unparalleled foolishness. Hey, would you get off my case? I didn't even say anything. Knock it off, you two. At the very least, we've got a nice leisurely cruise ahead of us, and that's something. I'm excited to meet up to meet the Resistance, people who all look up to Adam. Well then, if we're all agreed, let's get on with it and talk to the captain, shall we? Yeah, let's quit Gormont already. I'm, I want to move on to Torna. Yeah, this party looks fine to me. You again, eh? Nice to have regulars. You going to Aletta and Torna this time? You paid enough before, so this trip's on me. Ready to go? Let's get going. I'll head for Aletta as fast as I can. by Melnath's 
snout there. I wonder if that really is the Titan's name. We're not likely to ever know. Unless the Xenoblade developers should ever tell us. Stocked wooden boxes. Don't have to tell me twice. Witness my irresistible force. You're coming with me, treasure. Pouch expansion kit, really? I can pick those up again? Hmm. Is it possible to have three pouches? No. No, it's not. <laughs> That's a shame. She's supposed to have the Miracle Parfait in there. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Yeah, I deliberately left the second pouch empty for everyone. Hmm. Yeah, so what did I have in there before? I had community spirit there before. Let's go ahead and go back to that. What a fascinating story. I could have Minoth make more of those. Aren't we in trying something of an expert? Militia servicewoman Kalina. I've heard that the deeper the bond between driver and blade, the better they'll do in battle. That's because that bond is, has an impact on the blade's strength. I've also heard that just being physically close to one another can help foster that bond. I'm not a driver, so I don't know any more than that than what I've heard. Sounds nice, though. Having someone you can communicate with so well, I have to say I'm envious. Why is she wearing a gas mask? Well, whatever. Ahoy! Miss me! Lord Adam. Lord Adam's finally come back! Welcome back, Lord Adam. Wow. Someone's got himself a bit of a fan club. Maybe that's why he decided to take action. To wield that love for good. By the way, Adam gave the order to meet in this place specifically, right? What's so special about it? This land is Adam's domain. 
Look, that over there is his manor. Ah, <gasps> certainly fit for a prince. Eh, it could stand to be bigger. And, you know, not in the middle of nowhere. Are you completely incapable of saying something without sarcasm? Sorry, it's just how I am. I don't really think I can help it. She's right, though. It is quite away from the capital. He is far too esteemed for his own good. Fourth in line to the throne, but loved by soldiers and citizens. His relations with High Prince Zedar are quite strained as a result, I hear. Really? I suppose even princes have problems. For a place out in the back of beyond, it doesn't seem all that bad. Look at all this lush scenery. I think I could live here quite comfortably. It warms my heart to hear you say so. I like it here too. I've been thinking about dabbling in a bit of architecture here someday. We better finish Malice off quickly then, so you can run off and live, li live life as a hermit. That's the plan. Will we be staying here a while? Long enough to gather some intel on Malos, plus there are a few things I need to sort out with the Resistance. That suits me just fine. If you don't mind, I think I'll go for a stroll. Understood. Thank you all for acting in the interest of His Majesty. Where are you off to, Hugo? A regiment of ours has been tasked with disarming remnant sea and troops at a nearby archipelago. My presence there has been requested so that I may inspire them. And inspired they will be. It would take a stone heart not to be touched by your selfless courage. It goes both ways, Adam. I also wish to express my gratitude for their unceasing efforts. Aegean shall act as my bodyguard. Bridget, I'd like you to remain here as a point of contact. Don't go running off without me once you've discovered Malice's whereabouts now. What, and face him without His Majesty's prodigious talents? It would be foolhardy in the utmost. I'm honored that you think so. All right, I will return shortly. Hold the fort for us, Bridget. I'll be just fine as long as you take care of His Majesty, Aegean. Right then, let's see if we can't iron out a few of the problems the Resistance has been having. Is that something we can help with? Jin and I would be more than happy to help, right Jin? Of course, if it's what you want. Thanks both of you, you'll be a big help. The biggest problem we've got right now is lack of provisions. What, food provisions? I'm afraid so. Like you said, this place is cut off from the rest of the world, it's no wonder they're so hard up. I think making sure our army doesn't die of starvation is more important than finding Malice right now, don't you? Yes, very wise. History has proven many a time that the victors are those who have been fed and rested well. Just so. We should start by talking to Brojan, as he's the one who divvies up the rations, shall we? Okay, we, we got couldn't this very thing. well leave it alone, could we? Okay. So, unlike in the uh, base game, we still have Hugo and Aegean. And even Minoth. Let's see. So that's who we need to go talk to right there under the uh, pink diamond. But let's not go talk to him quite yet. Here's Veronica. Let's get her on the community list. We call ourselves the Resistance Army, but we're actually just starting out. Not so much an army as a club, really. We may be small, but we've got all sorts. Orions, Tornans, Gormati, Ardanians. There's plenty of folks in Oriya who'd readily put us to use as some kind of mercenary strike force. But who's to say that won't strain tensions with Torna and more Ardane? We've worked hard to get this far. As lieutenant, I'm not about to let my troops be used to fight their homelands. We've got only one goal, defeat Malice. Okay. Vez, I believe he dropped a key this that we need to find. Something of an expert. Uh, 
Ah, Lord Adam. Hello, Vez. All's well, I trust. I have a minor point to report. Here it comes. I have dropped the vault key. What? Oh boy, that is a predicament. Just a predicament? It's a vault. Surely it's got s things that mo one might want to access sometime. Yes, ma'am. It's a storage location for all the Origo family owns, from ancient treasures through to tableware, ma'am. Wait, everything they own is in there? Master Adam, this sounds bad. We have to find it, the key I mean, straight away. How kind of you. Are you really that worried about my possessions? I've been poor before, so I know what it feels like to have nothing, and it feels bad. When considering the vault contains priceless artifacts, it would be terrible if some villain were to find the key first. Ah, about that. No worries on that count, ma'am. I dropped it in a Grafton Ferris den somewhere out in Rackham Moor. So no need to worry about anyone picking it up. I may be incompetent, but I'm not inco I'm not that incompetent. No, I think the dropping part proves the incompetence. The rest is just icing. And why were you even there? You can pick medicinal herbs there. They help my gran, so I got all caught up in picking them and... And out came the Ferris. Exactly, ma'am. What is the point of you, really? I, I mean, it's an important thing, the key, so I always carry it with me wherever I go, ma'am. Stop torturing the help. Mithra, we'll get the key, Vez, don't worry. Thank you for your honesty. I'm relieved you weren't hurt. Lord Adam, you're too kind. You heard him, Adam. Too kind for your own good. Let's see what we have here. Set his active quest. Might as well. Since we're level 99 and we still have Hugo, we can just run out there, maul the Ferris in question, and take the key back. Let's see, yeah. Treasure trove. You're coming with me, treasure. Treasure troves any hard to reach spots. Okay, Gustus, let's get you on the community list. Hey, you lot, have you ever found a secret area? Yes, as a matter of fact, I've found a few of them. Not in this playthrough, though. Not something you just stumble across. Usually something special. Incredible views, or ancient ruins, or historical monuments. Secret areas are pretty great. I've never seen one myself like I always wanted to. Imagine it. Bet you could dine out on a story like that for a lifetime. Just think how many drinks people will buy you to hear it. Okay. You're coming with me, There's treasure. There's a clear structure to this lock. Slow and steady. All right, Brojan. Yep, he's definitely eating. Brojan, is that you? Whoa! Lord Adam! Please, a moment. <coughs> hey, he's turning blue. Throat jammed. Here, drink some water. Ugh. Phew. Looks like your color's returned. I'm afraid I've no idea who you are, but I owe you my life. Uh, I think you're exaggerating a little there. Not at all. I'd give you something by way of thanks, but I'm afraid it's a difficult time for me right now. Rojan, have you been snitching food on the sly again? Lord Adam, uh, no, perish the very thought. So what were you doing here then? Because whatever it was, it sounded awfully like someone guzzling to me. Prince, I was disposing of spoiled food, your highness. You mean you were scarfing down rotten food? That can't be good for your health. I thank you kindly for your concern, but I am fortunate to have a naturally robust gut. I couldn't risk giving this inferior stuff to the resistance fighters. That sort of makes sense. You could say I was maximizing efficiency by combining food quality management with disposal. <laughs> 
And if I can quieten the rumbling, rumblings of my stomach at the same time, well, that's a tertiary bonus. <clears throat> right. Yes, Brogen, I get it. You'll stop at nothing to make things more efficient. As we've just seen, you'll even risk your own life for it. Could you give me a report on the state of our food supplies? Of course. Well, since your highness's recent return, we've been catering for a few more soldiers. We've organized food gathering squads and dispatched them here and there, but sadly, manpower does not suffice. I suppose I bear some responsibility for that. Yeah, we should help out with the catering too. Indeed. We must do what we can to improve the situation until His Majesty returns. Thank you all, you're too kind. Here's the list of our most needed foodstuffs. Two grimdark crabs, four portions of ferrous beast meat, two large lactonuts, and six measures of weeping flour. That seems easily doable. We should probably get one more of each than he's asked for. He's pilfer prone. I guess we have everything we need to start searching. I'm pretty sure we already have everything. Shifty Quartermaster Bojan. Feeding an army. Welcome back. We managed to get all the food you wanted. Take a look. I'll take the liberty of confirming. Three grim dark crabs, five portions of ferrous beast meat, three lactonuts, and seven measures of weeping flour. Uh, it was one more of each of them, just like Adam was saying. Oh, it appears there's even more here than I originally requested. Think of it as a little token of our appreciation, Brogen. Also, if you make yourself ill eating rotten food, it's going to affect the troops' morale. So be sure to eat your fill of this stuff and keep up the good work. Y your Highness, I'm scarcely worthy of such an honor. With this, my devotion is sealed forever. Hey, come on, don't go overboard. Master Adam, would you mind if me and Mick took care of the cooking today? The two of you? Yep. The caterers are looking pretty overworked since all the other people showed up. We should help out. That's very thoughtful of you. Then I'd be honored to ask for your assistance. Okay, let's get to it, Mick. Hmm, this is good, but it's only a temporary measure. I need to come up with a permanent solution. I'm glad to have been of service. You gathered all the foodstuffs that Brogen asked for. With this, the militia's supply problems should be resolved for now. And we launch right into the next cutscene. Mick, mind cutting the veggies? Mm. Hey, you're pretty good at that. Not really. Anyone could do it. Looks good to me anyway. Then I think I'll get to the meat. Oi! Mithra! Huh? What are you doing? We're preparing the meat, of course. Are your eyes not working or something? I'll cut it out. Back away and don't touch anything. What? But why? Seems like fun. Why don't I help, too? Don't encourage her. You wouldn't talk that way if you knew the atrocities of Mithra's cooking. Atrocities? does more damage to you than any artifice ever could. Hey, watch it! Don't go around saying mean things like that. Uh, Mithra. Uh, yeah? Can I borrow you? 
What is it? I'm about to help with dinner. Laura, you too. Would you mind sparring with me, please? I don't mind, but... Why don't I help with the cooking? Oh, well, all right then. Goodness. Surely it can't be that bad. You could always try it out. Ah, perhaps not. I've never liked the uh, funny things are happening right now music for this game. It's just overpowering. Yeah. A comedy soundtrack needs to be more subtle than that. You know, to you know, enhance the scene rather than completely overpower it like that. <clears throat> anyway. I'll wager nothing tastes as good as a good meal after some solid training. That sounds about right. I ate so much I feel like I'm going to burst. Pardon me, Master Adam, sir. While I was giving out rations, I heard the soldiers talking. They were still saying that Let Bridge still they were saying that Let Bridge still hasn't been repaired. What? Still, we sent workers up there a while back. What's held them up? From what I hear, Gogols have been giving them no end of grief. I thought we'd preempted that too. Didn't we send enough guards? I must have underestimated the problem. Those Gogols sound pretty tough. They're really not. I could see them being a handful in packs, though, for your average soldier anyway. Those things are what destroyed the bridge in the first place. If we don't get that bridge repaired, it's going to seriously delay our going to and from the capital. How are Hugo and Aegean? I believe it may still be a while before they return. Great. Then let's go and wrap up this whole bridge affair before Hugo gets back. We'll set out early tomorrow morning. Okay, we'll help with that. Actually, I might have to pass. Oh, what's wrong? Not feeling well? No, it's not that. It's just, I promised I'd make my special dish tomorrow. Forget about that. I'll get the ingredients and what have you so you can focus on helping Master Adam. He needs you. There'll be time enough to cook later after we get rid of the gobbles. We can celebrate our victory. We really could do with the help, Jim. All right then. Heh. Or you could just leave all that to me. I'll cook up a feast for the ages. No, you flipping well won't. Okay then. Shall we go clear out the monsters on that bridge like we discussed earlier? Where exactly is this bridge? A little ways down Rackham Moor. It's not too far. Let's just go and scout it out a bit. You scratch our backs and we'll... All right, we can finally get moving. Okay, yeah, we're all here. Oh, the miasma. I keep forgetting that since this is New Game Plus, the miasma will be back. The bends as I will it. Light has some unexpected uses, too. Mom, pop up you collection point you. This is becoming addictive. Okay, so we'll clear out the goals. Aren't we in nature makes a fine ally. I just hope it doesn't launch us right back into the next cutscene. Did I pick up everything? Yeah, I picked up everything. Anyway, yeah, hope it doesn't just launch us right back into the next cutscene, because there's some other stuff out here I want to do. Look, there's a bridge. I guess that's Let Bridge. It's certainly beset by monsters. And they look rather tough to boot. You think? They don't look like much to me. 
Well, our analysis doesn't change the fact that the bridge is blocked. We've got to clear it. Don't let your guard down, everyone. Uh -oh. I think we've been spotted. Oh, Healing regularly is the key to the shield. Phew, we managed it just about. Alright, they were a little tougher than I expected. Um, no, they weren't. <laughs> we were 75 levels higher than them. I did think that you were underestimating them. At any rate, the restoration of the bridge can begin now. That's right. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Laura, when we get back to camp, what what you <clears throat> what would you say to a little more training? Uh, sure, but we only just finished fighting. That's exactly why I asked. If we don't temper Mithra's skills a tad, I'm somewhat apprehensive of the battles to come. Hey, wait a second. Just what is that supposed to mean? I've noticed you getting a little, well, careless, to be frank. You need to be more mindful or we'll never beat Malice. Careless? Mindful? Gee, thanks for the personal attack. Slow down there. What's gotten into you? Nothing's gotten into me. It doesn't matter how much we train. I'm not going to magically become more mindful. The end. Let's go home. Why is she so angry? Okay, it's dropping us here, so... A happy conclusion. Now that the goals have been driven away, the work on rebuilding the bridge can continue apace. Right, so before we head on back... Now this is what I call a real predicament. It looks pretty vicious. Did the boy really enter its den? I'm impressed he left alive at all. Vez was born under a lucky star. The manor is full of anecdotes about things like this. He's a forthright man, he wouldn't lie about this. If he says he went in, I have no reason to disbelieve him. You seem awfully calm about this. What will you do if we can't get the key back? Eh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Anyway, the things in that matter the most aren't inside the vault. Oh, really? I know where you're going with that, but I'm sure there are still plenty of things in there that do matter a bit. And I'm not letting you lose that. Thank you, Laura. Looks like he's still upset about our friend wandering into his den. We'll have to draw it away somehow. Or defeat it where it stands. Well, those seem to be the only choices. Well, in that case... No need to draw it away. Let's just maul it. I'm afraid more people might get attacked by this beast. We should take it down just in case. You make a good point. Don't overdo it, Laura. Don't worry, I know my limits. Okay then, it's go time. Laura's safety is my charge. Healing regularly. With all our Still might. not quite a match for mine. Ready for a coordinated though. attack oh, on you your think mark. So do you? I'm not gonna take that lying down. Come on, arm wrestling time. Arm wrestling? N no, thank you. That won't be necessary. Okay. Aren't we in I know the drill. Me and off talks tough, but can't walk. Okay. Hmm. While we're out here. Oh, wait, no. I was going to say, let's use that water spout to go up there. But we can't get there yet. We have to go along that ridge up there. Well, here we are. We made good time. Aren't we intrepid? <sighs> Okay, we go along here. Chop down the tree. With all my might. K. 
keep on going. Don't need to get the treasure trove, but might the as well. The suspense is killing me. Small waterfall. Water, serve my will. Fill in the spring so that we can get to that water spout on the island there. Water, serve my will. Aren't we intrepid? And back here. No, this is what it means to be alive. I'll be honest, I don't actually hate it. Aren't we interested to the sound of my voice? What an interesting way to phrase that. I don't actually hate it. Aren't we interested? Nature makes a fine ally. Okay, let's do this. Uh oh. I think it's inspired. Don't get out of the way. I feel the sun's going to be right on the back. We should stay 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 Ready to go. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be too hard. You're coming with me, treasure. All right. Anything else? I guess I could go into the sealed cave. Let's see, I thought there was a treasure trove around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. The suspense is There's giving me a structure to this lock. Slow and steady. I'm something of an expert. And let's see. Hmm. Sealed cave is already unsealed. Well, we'll check that out later. For now, I do believe we've reached the end of the episode. Weird looking shadow. <clears throat> so let's see. If I go much further, I will activate the next cutscene. That'll take us forever. So I'm just going to end the video right here. Viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country, New Game Plus Edition. In the next episode, we'll probably get on over Let Bridge and uh, push our way into the Dana Desert. I think. You know, at least I hope we'll make it that far. I guess we will see. At any rate, see you next time.